I've had a new delivery of a new certified device. The only one of its kind in the market on Microsoft Teams. Let's check it out. So it's neat. Let's have a look. So I've just broken the seal of the delivery note. Let's open it up. What have we got in here? Hey look, we've got a nice little carry handle. Neat frame. The only Microsoft Teams certified device in portrait mode. It's a Teams display. So let's open it up. Look at that packaging. Our power supply is in here. We'll just peel that off. Welcome, let's get started. Insert power cable, follow setup. Do we ever do what we're told? But first of all, look at this. How good is that? And there we have it, neat frame. Look at this beauty. Let's get it plugged in. Here we have one power cord. So now let's insert this into the device. And now let's see it boot up. Say hello to Max. Neat is starting. So our first task here is let's select our language. So we'll go for English. And now it's searching for Wi-Fi. So it's Wi-Fi by default. You could use a USB Ethernet adapter if you want it on the wired network. So let's put it on my network. Let's now join in the network. We've got a green tick, that's good. Let's continue. And time zone, and I do like a 24 hour clock. You can choose your time zone, but we're good. And now there's an update available. So let's update. So every time a device comes from the factory, it will make sure it has the latest update as part of this out of box experience. So that is approximately five minutes, depending on your download speed, to update, so download and update the device. You won't be doing that with a Windows-based device, will you? So let's continue. And now we can choose our camera preview. So how do we look? Looking good, as always. Looks good. And do we want to do neat boundary? So this is subject boundary, being able to define where we want to set the camera up. So again, because it's going to be used in a personal space, we want it to be right down narrow, just looking at ourselves in the frame. And finally, we want the Microsoft Teams platform. So this is now loading the latest certified version of the Microsoft Teams display app. So once that is downloaded, we can then launch the application. And we're all set. Let's launch Microsoft Teams. So now we have a choice to sign in. Uh, we can go to microsoft.com forward slash device login and use this code. And we can sign in from our browser or we can sign in on the device. So I'm just going to pop in my test tenant details here. And so again, if you've got two-factor authentication, that is supported on Android devices. Now this will enroll in Intune. Endpoint Manager, so you must have your compliance policies and conditional access policies enabled that users can enroll devices and sign them in. So Company Portal, Contoso. And then we are signing you in. Now you get a couple of options on this out-of-box experience within Microsoft Teams display. 
Uh, would you like Cortana? That's not yet enabled, so we'll set up later. The perfect pair. So do you want to connect it with your Windows-based laptop? So it supports Windows 64-bit Teams client today. And we won't be doing this just now. You can do it afterwards. And you can set a PIN number as well. So when you lock your laptop, it can lock to the device at the same time if you're using that better together mode. Or you want to put your separate PIN number on here. So here we have the device signed in with a Dell. We've got our calls, speed dial, history, etc. You can see all our messages. Uh, we've got our contacts available as well. And we also have our chat, so any chat messages you can then respond. And we have our calendar, for example, here. And we can join it. We can join a device. Let's have a look. Let's turn our video on. Let's join. And there we go. Turn our video on. So we get that full rich portrait display, which is awesome. Normal Teams features in a call, so being able to change your background, etc., have all those available to us. And that is Microsoft Teams Display. And we've got more options here where we can look at our Teams, our orgs, and then also at the top we have our privacy shutter, so you can lock the camera. And also we have deep noise suppression built into the device, so non-verbal communications will be blocked out by the neat uh, AI in the device. Let's just check out how quick it is to reboot. So if you do move around, uh, some other features that will come soon. So it is the hot desking, so you can sign in as someone else. Hot desking is uh, under validation. But one thing I just want to show you is how quick the device can restart. So we'll go into system and we'll choose restart. So if you do move around your office or home, very, very quick to boot up. And there we have it. So... About 20 seconds for a complete full reboot, sign in, ready to do your Teams call. So that is the neat frame, running Microsoft Teams in personal mode. And at present, there's an offer, three for two. So go and check out neat.no forward slash frame and find out all about the neat frame on Microsoft Teams. Thanks, bye.